Antonio Du running the point for the Spectres. And a pass to the corner. Knocked down for three by Kira Rowe. But Cuso to the corner. Branca DeSano thought about the shot, put it on the floor, and Cuso had to stretch for the pass. A little jab step and step back, and that's a nice finish from Zatina Rakusa. Out of the top flight, as you said, though, you're a short contract in Malaysia. And Tony, you do long three, knocks it down over the outstretched arm of Isa Branca DeSano. Duck looks to work off a born screen, guarded by Shear. Kicks it to the corner for Rolf with the mid range jumper, who knocks it down, and that's it, Rolf's game. Great Loves flaring, right there. flaring to that. That's the third or fourth occasion we've seen that high on ball extended pick, and it, it's worked each time in getting people an open look. At the other end is a Branca DeSano with the reply. Shot clock at eight. Antonio Du gets the less nimble Akusu to blow past for the Spectres. Geelong by one. Shelley feeds Akusu. A little step through is nice. It's a good finish. It was a good finish. Nice little move. To Shelley. Charlotte Branca Tassano feeds Magbega. And then a nice long move from Zatino Akuso. Chilcott wants to feed Shear, and she was fronted well by Isa Branca Tassano, but the long ball is good from Rebecca Pizzi. Commentary box in. Kelly Frawley feeding the post. Pizzi hands it off. Nice hit. And it is a nice finish by Chelsea D'Angelo. Arjun to four. You just haven't seen the urgency step up yet as Mag Beggar wants to just take it off the dribble. It just parted like the Red Sea. Reserve path impeded by Shear. Shot clock at 10. Little bounce pass. Shelley ran herself into trouble. Somehow got it back to Blitzarves. Is this what gets Sarah going? It does. The big three. Yeah, that was a, a ripping game. Brace continually telling the referee he was fouled, as Brace tended to do. <laughs> it's really funny. When Braith played for Ballarat, she missed those free throws earlier in the period. Meg Beggar from the corner for three, and that might be the dagger through the heart of Nana Wadding right there. For Rowe, shot clock at three. Rowe's got to get busy. Yeah. Off the dribble, takes it hard, and then Meg Beggar gets a big piece of it, and we've got a shot clock violation. Rolf will come up with it, and Geelong really oh, oh, goodness. And the turnover. How, you're told as a junior the cross-key pass in defence. Geelong will... Look to run down as much of the clock as possible. Akuso under the basket, basically unchallenged by Pizzi, and that is game over. So Geelong, start season 2019 with a nine-point victory, 63-54 here at Geelong Arena.